telling you. I'm telling you, I have a feeling about this girl. This is a beautiful girl. Yeah, you got a feeling. What no, she just feel? the way I, I'm telling you, the way I felt, the way she looked at me, right? right. We're playing basketball every second. She, and she picked up my shoes. No. She, that's a sign to me oh, when a woman no. picks up your shoes. Why don't you just fucking announce that this is an inside job? This job gets me into the big time, kid. And you're not gonna fuck it up. Wait in the car. Don't you hate it? Huh? Don't you hate days like this? I mean, all I wanted was a slice of pizza, maybe a little extra cheese. Don't even try it, don't even think about it. I'm with you. I'm with you. But now you gotta trust me. I got absolutely nothing on underneath, all right? No hidden guns. I don't even have a chest protector on. No vest, you see? Here's the deal. I lay the gun down. You let the girl go. I'll be your hostage. Nice and easy. Nobody gets hurt. Why don't you let her go? After I kill you! Nice work. Yeah, I guess a beret in the butt beats a butterfly in the boot, huh? Last night in downtown Los Angeles, four men died in what police describe as a drug deal gone sour. And while the accused killer, Earl Talbot Blake, remains in guarded condition at City General, the man who put an end to his criminal career was cited this morning at City Hall. To Detective Nick Stiles. This is an honor and a privilege that, uh, I'm proud to share, and uh, I promise to keep my clothes on before my next arrest. <laughs> Side. Lieutenant Nick Stiles may look familiar to our viewers. He first gained national attention two years ago when his apprehension of professional hitman Earl Talbot Blake. Next week, the recent law school graduate will continue his crime fighting as Los Angeles' newest assistant district attorney. Run away. What do you got here, huh? Huh? You got nothing, huh? You're under arrest, huh? Busted. We'll return with more authentic police action, followed by the Love Boat. Days of glory behind them, some people feel the towers have become an eyesore, a dangerous jumble of rusting steel and broken glass. Some people feel the towers have become an eyesore, a dangerous jumble of rusting steel and broken glass. But L.A. Assistant District Attorney Nicholas Stiles has a different idea. Together with City Councilman Yubi Ferris, Stiles has announced plans for a children's center to be built at the base of the restored tower. Those are jokes, folks. Loosen up. <laughs> but seriously, now, my son, Nick Stiles. Yeah. Ooh, there you Yes. This $10,000 puts us over the top. All right. And it's a bright, sunny 7 a.m. in Southern California, but what do I know? I'm just in this little room with no window. 
those, I just say what they tell me, folks. Slow news day, everybody. Russia still falling apart, LA still dying of thirst, and I still haven't been laid in a month. Hey, you catch that telethon last night for the Twin Towers? Uh, I don't know, I think Nick Stiles... And I still haven't been laid in a month. Hey, you catch that telethon last night for the Twin Towers? I don't know. I think Nick Stiles is going to be the next Jerry Lewis. Dale, don't even ask me about the Harrington thing. It's still in a grand jury. Relax. This one's a golden oldie. Remember Earl Talbot Blake? No, the name escapes me. Good choice of words. He busted out of a parole hearing with some of the Aryan Brotherhood. Are you out of your mind? You could have killed somebody. Jesus Christ. Almost. Let's talk about arm wrestling. It was a real big deal in the lockup. You put your arm up against mine. Press my hands hard as you can. And if you beat me, maybe I'll let you go. <laughs> Get out of here. What have you got to lose? So you're gonna use two arms? I only get to use one? We were, both of us, at the beginning of our careers. And all of a sudden, one of us took off, lit up the sky like a meteor. And why? Because he met the other. I've been following your career, you know. All those arrests, the courtrooms, those two adorable little girls. The Night Strangler trial? Ooh, talk about your mental cases. <laughs> and yet, after all that we've meant to each other, this moment now is the first time we've ever touched. You lose. You lose. to get out of there, but then I was so drunk I couldn't see. Jeez. So, um, how many of them were there? It was Blake. It was Kim. There was... I'm gonna make them pay for this. That's for damn sure they're gonna pay for this. Yo, you messed with the wrong man, motherfucker. Who is this? What's going on? He's got some friends that don't like that shit, you know what I'm saying? Now, you try to take away my homeboy's dreams. Now, you're the one with the nightmares. You want to find out who really got the power? Bring your punk ass to the tower. Styles, you bastard! Where are you? Right where you put me, Blake. On top of the world! You know, the ancient Hawaiians used to sacrifice an animal every time they built a new building. Oh, I learned that when I took my kids on vacation. I got you now. Anyway, I think a great project like the Tower Center deserves one of those Hawaiian-style sacrifices, don't you? Huh? And since we don't have one of those big, fat, juicy pigs, I guess you're just gonna have to do it, huh? <laughs> Oh, 
gonna cheat. They're gonna... <laughs> Blake, you got a nationwide audience watch. from the Twin Towers, where a life and death struggle has just concluded. A struggle which it is now clear was deliberately orchestrated for the police and the media by Assistant District Attorney Nicholas Stiles. An amazing scene here at the famous Towers, which witnessed the beginning of Nick Stiles' political career and its incredible resurrection of its violent and incontestable proof of his innocence. Now, the death of Earl Talbot Blake may signal the... Oh, Mr. Stiles, any comments, please? Yeah. Yeah, news at 11? Nah. You go on and on and you don't stop. Got sticky sneakers from the blood of a shot cop. Built in the club, I'm leaving tracks on the white rug. Punk tried to rip and he met double lot of slug. I ain't the nigga to step to. I'm catching bodies and the next one could be you. Quick on the trigger, yo, I'm a great digger. Chop up a body and deep six him in the river. A nice dark and psychopath. All cops hunt the black male and the ski man. But I'm too damn clever. Will they ever catch me? Never. Because I operate in and out of state. Move at a quick rate and never hesitate. 